Hi, my name is Elizabeth. I'm from the Strawberries Medical Assistant class, and today I'll be showing you Venipuncture 101. One of the most important things to know in medical assisting is how to wash your hands. So I'm going to walk through the steps to wash your hands. So the first thing you want to do is you want to adjust the water to make sure it's not too hot or too cold. The second thing you want to do is you want to rinse your hands. Then you want to grab some soap and you start washing your hands. So you want to rub, starting with your fingertips, just a couple of times in circular motion. And then you want to rub your palms together. Then you want to interlace your fingers about 10 times. And then you want to rub the back of your hands and rub your hands together in circular motion. Now you're going to rinse your hands, but you want to make sure you're not touching the counter. Your shirt will be touching the counter and your fingertips will be touching the counter. And when you rinse your hands, you want to make sure your fingertips are down. So that way the germs wash down the sink instead of up your hands. Then you want to grab some more soap. And you're going to wash your upper forearm and your wrists. And do the same thing on the other arm. And then you're going to rinse the same way. And you want to shake off any excess water with your hands facing down. And then you want to grab your towels and dry your hands. So now we are going to prepare for the procedure. You will need a tray to put your supplies on, gloves, sterile gauze, three antiseptic wipes, you're going to need tubes to gather the blood in. Depending on what you're testing for, you're going to use different type of tubes and a different amount. You're going to need a tourniquet. You're going to need a squeezing tool to um, enhance the veins. And you're going to need a needle. So this is a butterfly needle, and they're most common in the medical field. Um, these are mostly used for smaller veins because they insert easily. And then there's this other needle. They're also used, but not as much, and they get the same results. So next, you're going to um, sanitize everything. So first, you want to clean your tray. You want to grab an antiseptic wipe. And you're going to start from the middle, and you're going to circulate out. Now you want to make sure you get the edges as well. Now you're going to grab another antiseptic wipe and you're going to sanitize your tourniquet. place your, anti or your tourniquet on the tray. Now you're going to get your gloves, your gauze, your vials, another antiseptic wipe to clean the site, and your needle. Today I'm going to do the butterfly. And your squeezing tool. Hi, I'm Devin. I'll be your medical assistant today. Can you please confirm your name? Birthday for me? Lisa Victoria, July 26, 19. Okay, may I see your arm to see which one has a good vein to use? Golly, what a nice vein. this arm. Now I'm going to clean the side. And then I'm going to apply the tourniquet. How long do you keep the tourniquet on for? For only one minute. So you got to you got to be fast.
to get our materials ready so they're all set when we manufacture. And we're going to want to remove the Should have got someone else for this job, baby. We're gonna lock the needle. Put that in the sharp. You should have taken your tourniquet off first. That's good babes. Yes. What did you think of it? It was painless. What could he have done better? My name is Sylvia. I'll be your student medical assistant for today. Can you please state your full name and your birth? Alejandra Ruiz, April 30th, 2000. Wonderful. And so have you had a fetal puncture done before? No, this will be my first time. Wonderful. So I'm going to just assess both of your arms. You're going to please come up. So a medical assistant assessed both of her arms to determine which vein she's going to puncture and which one's more visible. So what she's doing, she's palpating the veins to determine which one to use. She wants to make sure she checks both arms. So now that she's chosen the arm as light and cleaned the site, she's going to assemble her equipment. So now she's going to put on her gloves now that she's assembled all of her equipment. Now she's going to apply the tourniquet. You apply the tourniquet last because it can only be on the patient's arm for one minute. Now you want to make sure the label's down when you put in the, the tubes. Now she's going to hold the skin taut and the bevel up and she's going to insert in the direction the vein's going. And she got blood. Now she's going to take off the tourniquet. Now she's going to use a cotton ball to 
to remove the needle. And she's going to lock her needle and ask the patient to hold on to the, the cotton ball. Now she's going to dispose of her needle. Now she's going to apply a band-aid. And she's going to tell the patient to not lift anything for an hour. That's heavy. And now she's going to remove her gloves and then wash her hands. No. <laughs> oh, Nandra, how do you feel? Great. I didn't feel any um, pain. She did the procedure correctly. How do you feel, Sable? There's a camera <laughs> <laughs> Our teacher's here. She I'm has to so watch all of them. I'm so proud of our students. Uh, they do very well. And um, it's neat. Yesterday I spent the whole day visiting my student, our MA students, and everyone's doing very well out there. So, yeah.